We've just left Russell, which is over there, and we've driven out um, to the point. Still absolutely buzzing about the dive the other day at the Canterbury shipwreck, and then the four bottlenose dolphins decided to rock up. It was actually, it was insane, eh? I still can't believe it, and it's like two days later, so absolutely fizzing about that. I think that was like a once in a lifetime experience, really. Diving the Canterbury shipwreck and with dolphins, just unreal. It's never happened before, feeling pretty lucky. So just out around that point is where the shipwreck is. See a Bay of Islands? You were wicked, eh? Definitely coming back here. Amazing spot, eh? What? Man, this is sick. This is Elliot Bay. So we're just gonna keep following that coastline. for some lunch, made a wrap at beautiful Helen Bay. Not a bad spot, eh? Alright, here's the camp for the night, it's lovely. Okay, so I've decided I'll go through a run through of my truck and everything that I'm living out of. So I've got a 2001 Toyota Hilux, 3 litre turbo diesel, manual four wheel drive. Now I've got my homemade canopy that's on the back here just out of um, aluminium sheet and then inch by inch steel and so I can fully take that off and I've just got the tent bolted down onto it just inside there instead of having roof racks and so that so it sits nice and low inside my canopy I've got my table slides in and out and I've just got my kitchen stuff all my cooking and then food um, it doesn't need to be get cool in there and then all my all my clothes and towels and stuff like that and then up top there I've got my dive gear dry bags and stuff like that and my cooker and then in the cab I've got all this storage here and so that's fully lockable and it just pops open like that and then you got all my storage there just for stuff that's very important like my drone and camera gear and charging stuff and then stuff that I need every day at easy access to on the other side I've got my just a chili bin ah uh, this will be a fridge eventually once I can afford it but um yeah does the job at the moment so it's just um it's actually dad's chili bins and now for the main items so this is how I have power okay so I've got a 40 watt solar panel up here into the cab on the other side back on this side so there's my solar charge and I've got my house battery here it's just a deep cycle battery just from any hardware store or whatever and then I've got a inverter here just with a normal household power plug which is real handy and I just plug an extension cord into there it's also got a DSR switch so when my truck's running it's also charging this house battery yeah so I just run an extension cord from here go to switch turn it on and it runs through the cab and then when I pop my tent up I just stick it out the door and then chuck it in through there got power inside the tent and I charge everything at night and plug my lights in and stuff and so I just that's the only thing that I have to take out yeah so that's how I get my power and everything main event is my tent absolutely wicked this thing it's the pushbuck armadillo 1.9 meter so it's the it's the bigger option and it's absolutely ginormous like you can have it for two people easy as with your gear on the side and then a child as as well if you wanted yeah so it's from bushbuck a new zealand company down in christchurch if you're going to buy a tent and you're going to use it every day like i am or you know you're going to use it very regularly then this is definitely worth every penny but if you're not going to use it that often i wouldn't i'd just go for a cheaper option but if you're going to use it every day it's well worth it there's a few things that um i've noticed from using it every day that i would like to change or but only mind things that is like real no major concern it's it's just like um i'll show you yeah so this is my only uh, only problem with it so when it's real windy you park the hard top aluminium hard top which is wicked that's why i got it because you can put roof racks on here and then you can carry kayaks and everything. I just park it into the wind and then it doesn't flop around. But it's only got a Velcro 
oh, I'm holding it, holding this fly on. And so the wind comes in underneath and then it just flaps around like crazy when it's real windy. And that's an easy fix. Like even I could just get some longer Velcro strips. They go around the whole outside of it and that would solve that, that problem. So the mattress is quite, quite firm but it's all removable so you could just whip that one out and then each night just chuck in a, a thick one that you like or whatever you and you could even put an e-bed in here it's that big and one thing I do really like about it so that's how I leave my bedding when I fold it down so I just fold it up into the back corner there and then close it and it's and it's good good to go so you don't have to take your bedding out each night have to store that somewhere so that's that's a real bonus and then you've got Obviously your windows here, window there, skylight, and um, they all fold up and roll up just like a normal tent. And then the side windows also have have um, little poles like that that you can stick in them. I do that when I park up for a couple of days, but yeah, when I'm on the go, just staying for the night, I don't bother. But no, it's super wicked. And another real great thing is that when you're putting it up and down, I think I can do it in about three minutes, putting it up and then three minutes taking it down super fast real easy if it's raining you just put it in and then your mattress doesn't get wet at all it's got a full waterproof cover on it anyway if it was to get wet somehow definitely recommend it. it's worth every penny if you're going to use it all the time eh? another wicked feature is it's got a built-in led light up on this bar here it's got two more under here So as you can tell, they are very bright and you just got your little your little dimmer there. Low, medium, high, whatever you want. Goes real good, super comfy. I really enjoy it. Um, if you have any more questions about it, let me know. I, I don't know and I haven't seen the, the smaller size. It's the exact same build and everything. So, and it's just a bit smaller, which would be real good for obviously smaller vehicles. So yeah, that's my four wheel drive touring setup. Um, if you got any questions, sing out, give us a yell and I'll answer you if there's quite a few questions on one single thing then I'll, I'll make another video about that thinking about buying yourself and I'll give you the advice that I think living out of it each each and every day for, for three weeks so I think it's safe to say that I know what I'm talking about with this stuff now so choice thanks for watching for the next video we'll just keep heading down towards Whangarei maybe for a dive out in the rocks or something we'll just see what the weather's doing tomorrow and see what happens Thanks for watching. If you're new here, you come to see what my setup is. I'm Taz. I'm just traveling around NZ in my setup, seeing all the great places and putting it on here. So yeah, subscribe, welcome, and we'll see you in the next video. See ya.